Got your number. Are you going to the dance with anyone who's got a crush on you? Do you like sports? Would you introduce me to your friend? Are you busy Friday? So dreamy. Get your friends together. It's time to find out who has a big crush. Is it Matt from Science Class or Daryl from Track? You'll never know unless you've got his number. There's also something else still in the closet. Give me a minute. Um, there we go. Rude. Fuck. Give me a second. <sighs> Student named Yolanda Desitate, grade 12. DeSoto. <sighs> Whatever. M Mr. Benchley observed Miss DeSoto wearing a t shirt with an unacceptable image on the front, a large beer can labeled Pabst Blue Ribbon. Miss DeSoto was sent to the guidance counselor's office. Miss DeSoto was given the option to turn her inside at turn her shirt inside out, change her shirt from her gym walker, or be suspended for the rest of the day. Miss DeSoto chose suspension. Her father was called, but there was no answer and no answering machine. Miss DeSoto must return this form tomorrow, signed by her father. The fuck is DeSoto? That's Lonnie. Sam Prote Oh, okay. There was something still in the fucking closet, Gabe. I'm looking at something. This is the only one me and Dad are building. Want to go for a ride when it's done? Here's the exciting new Brother 150, a bike with speed, style, and impressive get-up-and-go. The Brother's 150 reliable four-stroke engine proceeds, produces speed that will surprise you. A two-and-a-half-gallon tank provides the ability to ride for longer distances. Phaedrus. Cool. I think that was Lonnie, by the way. Lonnie and her dad were building that one. Right there. I mean, not that, but like, okay, that too. S is for special, A is for adorable, M is for merry, A is for affectionate, N is for nice, T is for thoughtful, H is for honest, A is for I can't think of anything else. Shut up. That's not the last thing. You're the fucking worst. Yeah, Kitty's not great. She can't even get to- I'm leaving it. I don't care. <laughs> there you go. Mitten. 1818 Dry Creek Kinky. Road. What? Huh? What? Nothing? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She knocked the board game over. You're officially the German sausage. The bratwurst. Anything else? Go over back to the bed. Here? Gabe. Gabe, please. Okay. <laughs> it's mine! <laughs> Sam gets nothing. I'll fit that in later. Well, maybe take more than one box. <laughs> no, I'll fit it in later. Look on the bed. Ooh. Crab. Steggy? Stelly? Turn it around. S Steggy. Put it back. Look at him. It's sticky. <laughs> <laughs> I. Ooh, underwear. Ooh, a note. A note. Gabe. A note. Stop trying to curve on our own sister. <laughs> well, I mean, Sam is gay. So right, I'm going to read works. this one. <laughs> Overlay, please. No. Just read. Name Samantha Greenbar, year 11, teacher Fletcher, period 5, subject shop 1, assignment. Metal working engraving, grade C minus. Notes: Not a challenging assignment. Metal plaque for family portrait. Reasonable subject, but not complex. 
When I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not mean just add them underneath. Acceptable leveling on edges show more pride in work. Okay, just a minute. Give me just a minute. Okay. Found it. Yep. I do like Sam though. Her sense of humor is good. It's it's just top kick. Sam's a sarcastic little bitch. I love her. Yep. Alright, uh I think no, there's um there's a magazine that you can look at right there. In the side of the thing. There you go, right there. Guru. Rip Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Rip. Rip a Ronin. I think that's it. Aside from the locker that you can't open yet. Oh, I lied. There was another magazine. Uh huh. Another groove. I forgot. I'm sorry. AIDS in Africa. Soul Asylum Live. Eddie. Okay. What a battery. Alright. Now go into the room right next to this one. I don't. I don't want to catch the gay. Shut up, Gabe. So this is basically our sister's private bathroom. Because who the fuck else is going to use this bathroom? Guests. The fuck is wrong with my sister? Right there. God, I understand we're women and all, so we have weird period shit. But this is unacceptable. There's a voice thing when you put that down. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? She's so gay. It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, you're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. Like, just like that. Shut up. It was gone. <laughs> also, I just have a question. She says they looked in a mirror. What fucking mirror? I have not seen a single goddamn mirror in this house since we came in. Also, look in the cabinet next to the sink. And some toilet paper. Tampons. I'm so happy a game actually added tampons in what would be a girl's bathroom. Makes sense. What the hell is wrong with these people? Trying to give people rights. What? what? I don't even know. I'm so tired. That's really all in the bathroom. And then you can go into that room right there, which is our parents' room. Look in this dresser right here first, though. Gabe, what are you doing? What are you doing, Gabriel? Why? I left the water on. Just leave it on. Flood it. That's what I did. I left all the water on. I didn't even realize. I completely forgot I turned that one on. I may be a waste of power, but I'm not a waste of water. Look through that dresser right there. <laughs> Put it back and then look at it again. There is nothing I don't hate right now. <laughs> Katie's pretty fine. There's nothing in the rest of the drawers. I just wanted you to look in them for that one thing. I'm checking everything. Look at all the tapes. 
I. Are these home movies or something? No. Silence of the Lambs, Bridge Over the River Kwai, Butch Cassidy, the something Sundance Kid. Oh, Butch Cassidy and TMP Sundance Kid, uh, Sundance or I don't I don't I'm getting lost with that one. All the President's Men. Yeah, nope, not dealing with that. Hate those noises. So, my parents have a fight or something? Stop looking at all the underwear! <laughs> Aw, Mitten! Rip, Mitten. Rip. What do they have under their bed? What? The poem book? I'm glad to have it in good hands. Rick. Take your time. I'm... What? I'm glad to have it in good hands. The book. It was in the book. Okay, please. Okay, please. It's um... necessary. Don't worry. Also, I'll there are no cuts. achievements for this game. And that's fine. That just means that I have to make my own achievements. Like not letting Sam have any of those fucking three ring, three ring binders. They're all mine. That wasn't even Sam's room. You, you just stole it from your parents. Yeah, yeah. That she would like try to steal it from our parents. So I have to be here to it. What was I born in the barn for getting to shut that door? Yep. Another one of our postcards from London, I think. Yeah, London. You gonna read it? I'm in the channel! This is my second passage through the channel! I'm on my way back from London. It's time going through, this time going through Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel! London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it. If you all wanted to come back here as a family sometimes, I guess I could be convinced. Love you all, Katie. Get fucked, Katie. Look in the nightstand, Gabe. Oh, honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had our ups and downs. Well, our down periods, it's become a bit of a way of life, actually. You get used to each other, you live your own lives in the same house, the kids grow up, they go away. I'm sorry, this isn't helping, is it? Don't worry. Terry will get over whatever's distracting them, and then things will go back to normal. As for Sam being distant, that's a teenager for you. Nothing to worry about. In the meantime, though, this controlled burn, that sounds like quite the adventure. But let's cut to the chase. This new ranger they sent? That's what I want to hear about. Ranger Rick, you have to be kidding me. It's too perfect. You have to tell me everything and send pictures. I want the whole package. Wait, that sounded wrong. Keep your chin up until Terry's out of his slump. And in the meantime, write more letters to your old friend Carol. She adores them. And for some reason, just randomly goes in the third person. I mean, that's how you Check do the it. other um nightstand. You just kind of skipped it. Bye, buddy. Business cargo. Unknown dimensions literature. Okay, publisher.
Don't tell me you don't hear that walking around. No, I don't hear anything. Look up on the, um, also that watercolor technique. Look up on top of the things on the other one. Yeah, I know. Oh, look, a ghost game. Escape from Ghost Escape Mansion. From ghost I'd mansion. play that. That sounds fun. Sounds like something we do play. Yeah. Haven't for a while. I don't think there's anything else in there. Now time for the master bathroom. This is just the fucking sink area. Where are all the drugs? What? Huh? They don't have any drugs, sweetheart. I don't even know. Mm-hmm. And now we can go over to the shower area. Well, the bathtub area. After the honeymoon, Ew. rediscovering your spouse... Ugh. Ugh. Turn the light on. I was looking for it. Oh, look, they got I don't fucking exactly candles next to the speeds. bathtub. Lucky, and that's such a big bathtub, too. Man, that'd be so nice. It doesn't look super comfortable, to be honest. Like, it maybe if this is at a good angle. But I just mean that it's like really. a big bathtub, so you could get completely soaked. My bathtub's too small, even yeah, though true. I'm small. You're so small. Alright, I think that's it for our parents' room. Not turning off the lights because I'm not uh, dealing with that dark. But I'm not bored in a bar either, so I shut the door. Let's go into that room. What's that thing under the door, though? Yeah, I know. Okay. Mom and Dad. Katie, Mom and... Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore, Sam. So I guess this is going to be our room. At least it was supposed to be, but... It was gonna. Oh, this is Samantha's ghost sightings. Composition book. Guess. You want me to read it? Okay. Yeah. August thirty fourth, thirty first night. Well, you read the last one, even though that was Sam. No, that was Allegra. Shut the fuck up. August thirty first, nineteen ninety four, one nineteen a.m. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note: I was not wearing my glasses. September third, nineteen ninety four, twelve forty four a.m. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. September 9th, 1994, 4.11 p.m. Poured milk from carton in fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Ooh, also ghost milk. Also ghost milk. <laughs> okay. September 20th, 1994, 11.24 p.m. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We built a protective pillow for it. That's where the pillow part is down there. Yeah, I remember October that. first, nineteen ninety four, eleven PM, twelve AM. Lonnie and I employ a Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages aren't conveyed from the other side. Oscar definitely here. October eighth, nineteen ninety four, ten PM, October ninth, four AM, enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings but all remained unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in attic due to leaky roof. Sample taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, successful night. That was how many months ago? That was eight months ago? Mm hmm This is Alani. Hey, Sam! You were asking what my JROTC ribbons meant. Here's a handy guide. Orienting. That means that army thinks I can find my way around. Okay. Uh, rifle team, the army has branded me as a certified killing machine. Adventure training, I am a 
born adventure and no borders can hold me. The armory recognizes this. So if you didn't think I was cool before, you, now you do. Why? 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 Oh. Why? <laughs> Check the closet. Or wait, is, no, two boxes. Katie, 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 Katie. There is nothing in the closet. There was the light turn up to turn on, so <laughs> I took care of that. Another tape player. There must be a tape. Well, there's nearby. a tape to find mm -hmm. in here. Well, it's broken. I guess we're not using that feature try anymore. Try um, try turning it off in the back on in the options. I'm doing it. Also, do you want to use subtitles? Why would I want to do that? For when Sam talks. But I like listening to that, not reading it. Yeah, fine. Well, yeah, no, that's I don't not know. working anymore. Whatever, we'll just have to read it, I guess. Okay. Turn that off because it's annoying. Ranger Patermag pa wait, Patermach has been indis indispensable during the course of the prescribed burn operation and execution. I believe his expertise and dedication have uh, been the deciding factor in the success of a very complex and challenging conservative conservation effort. I don't know why I have trouble, so much trouble reading that one fucking book. I know, I'm saying. In the opinion of the Footlock Forest staff, Rick's contributions to daily operations have become essential to the outfit's continuing success. To this end, I will formally submit paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to this facility. That's our mom's evaluation of Ranger yes, Rick. Yes, I know. Yes, I get it. She wants to fuck him. Halloween show, don't forget your costume. Voice thing the after you put this down. Awesome. See you there, Stagen Lounge. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. We're gonna hide this one. Mm -hmm. Also, I think our mom painted that. A good painter. There we go. Just go through the door, Gabe. Jesus fuck. No one cares. Mm -hmm. Lonnie, holy crap! Lonnie, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage! It had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it! Oh my god, I've got to see this. We're skipping six. Okay. Um, so we'll be going there in a minute. Mm -hmm. So it's in the library. Yep. We'll be there in a minute. Turn that lamp on. Look, no, go back to the door. Oh. Captain Allegra and the first mate. Your costume, my costume. So I think Lonnie got that costume for Sam. Yeah. Also, I'm not gonna lie. I already called it. They're gay. What? Totally gay. What? They have not... The first mate and wait... First mate and Laker were gay for each other, now they're dressing up like them? 
b- bunch of queers. It was not said that the first mate and Allegra were gay. So gay. What? All, all of her, all of her gay tendencies put in there from the age of five. 